Marcelo Bielsa is known as one of the godfathers in the world of football and I'm going to show you why his tactics will work for you. Now before we get into all things starting 11 and tactics and instructions and all those kind of things I want you guys to understand one thing. This is not a Leeds tactic. This is Marcelo Bielsa's tactic through the medium of Leeds United. So that way you can use this tactic for any other team, whether that be a career mode, whether that be for online seasons, whether that be for an ultimate team, this tactic is heavily transferable. But for now, through the medium of leads, let's get into the starting 11. So in regards to the starting 11, we're actually gonna go with a 4-1-4-1. However, there are some changes that you're going to need to make within that. And I'm gonna identify those things. So firstly, you are gonna make sure that your central midfielder it can be the left or the right is pushed up as a cam so now upon looking at the formation you now have a four one 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 three all you've really done is change the center mid to a cam and lastly you are going to make sure that your right midfielder is changed to a right winger and your left midfielder is changed to a left winger now, for those that are interested in using leads for their custom tactics or for their career modes, we're going to go through a strong start in 11 as follows. We are going to start with Melier in goal. Then we have Ailing at right back. We have Lorente and Strujic at centre half. And we also have Junior Firpo at left back. Starting in the CDM position, we have Calvin Phillips. In our left central midfield position, we have Mateus Click. And in our cam position, we have Tyler Roberts. Let me know in the comments below what it is. Is it Tyler or is it Taylor? That is a stinker from me, but I genuinely can't remember. Your right winger is going to be Rafinha. Your striker is going to be Rodrigo. And your left winger is going to be Harrison. Now, I know some of you are probably asking, Rom, where is Patrick Bamford? And I'm just going to be quite frank with you. He's not in the squad. <laughs> he's not in my starting 11 anyways. He can be on your subs bench but he is not in the starting 11 and here's why. So one thing I've noticed upon testing this tactic is that Roberts offered a lot more in build-up play and Rodrigo was excellent at finishing chances. Whereas Patrick Bamford is a better finisher, however, as a striker, his build-up play doesn't offer as much dynamism as Rodrigo. And I think for this kind of tactic, we need a Rodrigo style of player as opposed to Bamford. Now let's dive deeper into how Bielsa actually plays. So one thing about Bielsa is that he likes to play rather aggressively in real life, especially upon losing the ball. And quite frankly, this may not necessarily be the best option for a game like FIFA. So I've gone ahead and I've made some minor adjustments that will stop you from conceding those unnecessary through balls in behind, but you can still have an incredibly aggressive Marcelo Bielsa style tactic. So going into the defensive style, we are gonna go with press after possession loss. That's something that's pretty standard for a high pressing team. Regarding the width, we have gone with 45. Reason being, we want to make sure that we're constraining as much space as we can in the middle one. We want to force the opposition out wide. Regarding the depth, we are going to go with 75. Now, if you are using this for an online season save or a career mode save, I want you to be brave in playing in a high line. But Roms, what happens if they beat the press? If they beat the press, use your defensive players to try and delay opposition attackers and force them out wide to bring your numbers back in so that you have more numbers on your deeper line to go and win the ball. Don't be afraid of conceding the ball in behind. If you're going to be Marcelo Bielsa, you need to have a bit of an appetite for risk. Moving into the offensive part of his style, we are going to go with a build-up play of fast build-up. We want to make sure that we are attacking teams as quickly as possible as soon as we go and win that ball back. And especially the way we've set up the instructions, we have got a lot of players running forward and we want to be able to make sure that we're feeding those runs with good through balls, with good forward passes to make sure that we are going to exploit the space that oppositions leave behind. Regarding the chance creation, we are going to go with possession. The reason why I have it on possession is so that when teams have sat back or they're not necessarily allowing you to fly forward with those attacks, we still have players keeping the ball. Regarding the width, we have gone with 65. It's a bit of a moderate width, but it allows our wingers to be effective in possession. With players in the box, we've gone with five. 
with corners we've gone with three and with free kicks we've gone with three if you haven't noticed already you've probably seen a random photo of bielsa pop up somewhere in this video the first person to tell me how many times marcelo bielsa's photo has popped up in this video will win a free subscription to my twitch channel just a reminder once again we are talking about marcelo bielsa's tactic here and we are using leads as a medium to go and show that if you are using this or you want to use this for other teams feel free to stick around and watch the video and implement that into your team as well fun fact i've actually used a similar tactic before for a leicester city save and i tell you that bielsa tactic for leicester city worked wonders trust me guys it works so starting with your goalkeeper, you're going to make sure that he is on comes for crosses and is a sweeper keeper. Moving into your right back, you want to make sure that his attack is balanced, his interceptions are conservative, his run type is overlapped and he sticks to his position. With your right centre back, you want to make sure that he is on stay back while attacking, normal interceptions and he is on step up. With your left centre back, you also want him on stay back while attacking, normal interceptions but he is going to stick to his position. Your left back will join the attack, especially in this case with Junior Furpo, who's a little bit more attacking minded than Nuke Ailing. He is going to be on normal interceptions. His run type is also going to be overlapped and he is going to stick to his position. Regarding your fullback, if you want your right back to be the one that joins the attack, you can go and do so and your left back can be the one that sits. You can also have both your fullbacks join the attack as well, but just make sure that if you do do that and you lose the ball, your wide spaces are going to be open that is completely down to you but you can switch around who decides to attack on what side moving into your central defensive midfielder you are going to have him on cut passing lanes drop between the defenders normal interceptions cover center and he is going to stick to his position moving on to the left central midfielder Mateus click in this example is going to be on balanced attack he is going to get into the box for crosses his interceptions are going to be aggressive. So this midfielder is going to be your more number eight box to box style midfielder who is going to offer a lot in attack, but is also going to be ready to be aggressive, especially when it comes to winning that ball back. Your number 10 or Cam is going to be on stay forward. They are also going to get into the box for crosses. They are also going to free roam and they are going to be on aggressive interceptions. Finalising with the front three, starting with the right winger. Your right winger is going to be on basic defensive support. He is going to cut inside. He is also going to get in behind. He is going to have aggressive interceptions and he is also going to get into the box for cross. Your left winger is going to be pretty similar. He is also going to be on basic defensive support. For the sake of lead, we've got Jack Harrison on stay wide. However, with his support runs, he is going to be on getting behind. His interceptions are also going to be aggressive and he is going to get into the box for crosses. So just like with your fullbacks, if you feel like you need to change certain tactics with your wingers where you may want your right winger to stay wide and your left winger to cut inside, you can go and do that. And finalising with your striker, you are going to have his support runs on stay central. He is also going to get in behind. He is also going to have aggressive interceptions and he is going to stay forward. Honestly, guys, although Marcelo Bielsa isn't necessarily having the best results and the best time with Leeds right now, I can't help but admire the tactics that he plays. And as a fan of football and being a coach myself, it is honestly a thing of beauty to watch when it works. Another great thing about Marcelo Bielsa is that he has an amazing inspiration on other managers. And if you would like to find out who one of those managers are, then I suggest you click that video right over there.